Hey everyone, it's Amber from Dynamics, and we wanted to give you a real world, real wedding review of the Sony A6300. Ready? A lot of the A6300 videos we've seen online are either unboxings or people testing the camera in an office, uh, shooting charts, or people testing the camera outside in their backyard shooting dogs or squirrels. So we wanted to put it to the test in a real world high stress scenario at a real wedding. As wedding filmmakers, there are three key factors that we wanted to know about this camera. First of all, it's low light performance. Second of all, rolling shutter. And third is uh, overheating issues. Garrett set aside his a7S II for the day and used the a6300 as his primary camera for the whole wedding day. He used it on tripods, monopods, sliders, gimbal, and also went handheld for some of it. Now keep in mind, this is not a styled shoot or a mock wedding. This is a real wedding with a real beautiful couple who's paid us thousands of dollars to capture their most precious day. And we decided to use the a6300 as one of our primary cameras. We had just purchased this camera. This has been a little hard to get a hold of. So we purchased the camera on Friday night before the wedding and sat in the hotel, set it up, got all the settings exactly how we wanted it. And then Garrett shot the wedding the next morning at 9.30. Here are a few clips showing the camera's performance in multiple environments on the wedding day and then we'll have our final thoughts.
First of all, low light performance. We were very pleased at how the A6300 performed in those low light situations. We felt very comfortable using it at eight to 10,000 ISO uh, during the reception. At one point, just as a test, we even pushed the camera up to 25,600 to see what it would look like. Now it is a little noisy, but throw a denoise filter on it and we think is very usable. If it came down to getting or not getting the shot, we would definitely go that high. The next thing we were looking at with the A6300 is rolling shutter. Now, we did not see any issues. However, we do not shoot like this, nor spin around in circles like some other reviewers do on a wedding day. However, what we do use are gimbals, and we also use a slider, and we went handheld, and we saw no issues whatsoever. The final thing we were interested in with the A6300 is if it overheated whenever we were using it on a wedding day. Um, we were shooting in 4K at 100 megabits per second, and then uh, we shot from 9.30 in the morning till 10.30 at night. It was a very long day, and we saw no issues. We do shoot with the view screen out, which does keep the camera cooler. Also, Garrett is a hunter whenever he's shooting on the wedding day, so he's looking for those perfect clips um, and not letting the camera roll continuously for 20 minutes or so. Even during the ceremony, we're looking for a shot, getting the clip, and then moving on to the next one. The longest clip that he shot on the day is probably two to three minutes long. However, the camera was working very hard, stopping and starting throughout the whole day, and we did not see any overheating issues at all. So after filming with the 6300 for an entire wedding day, there's only three things that I would look out for. They're not terrible things, but just something that you need to be made aware of and adjust your workflow accordingly. One of the first things I noticed straight out of the box is that if you're using a longer matte photo style plate, and trying to combine that with a professional Sony Zeiss lens, the lens actually extends beneath the bottom of the camera. So you either have to pull your plate all the way to the back, or like us, we just switched to a new head a few months ago, even before we got this camera, so our quick release plates are much smaller and work okay. Now with the plate being on the bottom of the camera, your screen does not tilt down if it's up against the camera body. The only way I was able to tilt it down was to pull it away from the body and, and tilt the screen down for those over the head shots. And then still it didn't quite tilt down as much as my A7S II because it kept bumping into that plate. The second thing I noticed was that the flip out screen was much more reflective than my A7S II. Where it was most noticeable was outside in bright sunlight, of course. We were easily able to overcome that by switching over to the electronic viewfinder and using that instead. The third thing we notice, and it might not be a problem for a lot of people, but for us, and this might blow your mind, we shoot 30p on all of our wedding films, just a personal preference. The 6300 does do 30p, however, if you're using a full frame lens on that camera and you're switching to 30p, it will be a two times crop factor. Now, most of the time, this camera is gonna have the 10 to 18, which is made for a crop sensor camera. So having that crop factor isn't really something I want, but I did some tests and I have mixed my 24P ultra wide shot on the 6300 with my 30P on the timeline. And you know what? It doesn't look bad at all. So it's definitely something we'll be using. All that being said, I really like this camera. I had to stretch to find issues with it. And you know what? They're not really issues, just some little things you need to be made aware of. In summary, we will definitely be incorporating the A6300 into our wedding day workflow. If my budget was $1,000 for a camera body, this is definitely the one I would choose. Thanks so much for watching and LLAP friends. You'll be able to splice this so if I don't have a continuous thought, then you'll be able to like <coughs> fix that, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> here we go. Every time you start, you gotta give me a little bit of silence. Gosh. I should know this. Should. Hey everyone, it's, no, no, I know. Does that make me look skinnier when I'm hungry? How does my hair look? Your bangs are separated. Oh, thank you. I had it right already and then I don't know. Why is this so hard? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate y'all. Oh my hard. God. Oh. <laughs> buddy, buddy. <laughs> My eye is twitching. It was the best. Okay. This is not fun. It'll get easier. Okay. I don't remember exactly what I said, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Stop. 
Video clips, video clips. We bumped it at the bump. Or oh, used it all. Don't spin around. He she just started to. Bang, that's it. Boom, that's the one. <laughs>